All right, tennis anyone? Yes, indeed, playing tennis right here, eh, basically in downtown Cleveland. How about that? U.S. Open, WTA 250, the U.S. Open tennis, tennis in the land. This is the first one of hopefully tons and tons and tons. Uh, U.S. Open, now the way to get to the U.S. Open <laughs> is through Cleveland. Who knew? This is awesome. Uh, and we're standing on the main, uh, as you guys know, wait a minute, I've been to Nautica. There's not a tennis court in the middle of Nautica. That's where you and your crew came in. First of all, good morning, man. Good to see you. Good morning. All right. So this <laughs> was an interesting setup for you and your team. Uh, we have some, um, we're showing some video, some uh, video of how you guys set everything up, which is really, really cool. Some time-lapse video. But let's talk about it. Uh, so <laughs> this has been... I'll just say a labor of love. <laughs> it's been a, a, a labor of love, and yeah. it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I know you've been to a couple shows here, mm -hmm. and uh, the pit here at Jacob's Pavilion is not flat, right? No, so it goes like this. All the way down. Right. So how did you guys have to work to get this thing level, first of all? So the organizers brought in uh, three and a half semi-trucks of styrofoam in four by four blocks mm -hmm. Come this way. and uh, labeled it right or uh, leveled it right down so the blocks on this side are only about two inches tall gotcha and the ones all the way down there are about three eh, almost three feet tall now to so give all that foam how much are we talking like, like 434 or so four by four blocks which would be three semi trucks that's right <laughs> you know yeah. that for a fact that you had to help unload them. Yep, they were right here. So, first of all, so three semi-trucks full of foam just to get it even. Then what was the next step for you guys? Well, we had, to cut, we had to cut them all, make sure it was totally, uh, you know, laser leveled. Okay. And then laid down carpet pad over everything. And then we brought in the actual court and laid it all down, clipped it together. It comes together much like an NBA court does over okay. at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. Now, the interesting thing is... You guys put the whole thing together, and then there was a couple of concerts, so you had to take it apart, right? That's right. We, we did a dry run. We, we set it all up. We got it painted to the uh, U.S. Open uh, specs. It's the right. exact same paint they use at the U.S. Open. Same balls, same paint. You know, it's you know really getting ready for that okay. warm-up. And then, yeah, there were three concerts last week, so we had to take it all down. Uh, the folks had their concerts here. And then we came in on Friday morning at 3 a.m. And put it Started back laying the foam and built it in about 12 hours. <laughs> Good for you guys. All right. Well, this is amazing. We're going to take a look at the practice courts. They made two to go with the main court when we come back. Right here, Tennis in the Land. Everything goes till the weekend. So you can come out here and see U.S. Open caliber tennis right here in Cleveland. There's downtown behind us. Good for you and your crew, man. Thank you so much. All right, we're going to back to you guys in the studio. Tennis, anyone? Excellent. All right. We're always happy to welcome new people to town. Absolutely, we are.